Hey everyone, I'm Christine here and welcome to my channel. I'm going to go over the difference between a prime lens and a zoom lens and what I prefer for portrait photography. And like always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Here are the lenses that I currently have. Again, I'm a newbie photographer, so I currently have a 50 millimeter prime lens a 24-70 zoom lens, and then this kit lens that I got when I got my first Nikon camera, my 3300, which is a 18 to 55 millimeter. As you can tell, this one I, have, I don't use as much, hence I didn't even know what it actually even was. But it was perfect for when I got my first camera and it came with the kit so I could get started with photography and go out there and take some pictures. So I'm not saying that this isn't a good lens at all. It's just something that I don't use anymore. It was perfect for when I had my first camera. But for now, this is something that's kind of on the back burner that I don't really use. No, Chloe. 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 Hey. As you can see right now on my camera, which is the Nikon D750, I have my 50 millimeter prime lens. I am guilty where I think I use this lens the most. It was my first upgraded lens that I purchased. I absolutely love it. I use it probably 80% of the time and I actually prefer it for portraits. Yes, it can get a little awkward because obviously there's no zoom to it. So it's a little difficult. We want to go in certain situations, certain areas of a of a location that you want to take a picture or if you have to be kind of far from the model but you want a closer image and you can't zoom so it does get has its advantages and disadvantages but i still absolutely love it i don't care if i have to keep moving forward and back towards the model and i have to kind of get all over this place and everywhere and i don't care if i have to get up on a rock on a ledge or something to get the perfect picture i don't mind having to move all over the place so the 50 millimeter prime lens is my go-to lens. And the one that I currently have is the Nikkor 50 millimeter 1.8. And I totally brought this up here because my husband was so kind and he got me a new strap for my camera. So I have to put this on today. Isn't that so pretty? As I said before, the first lens that I actually purchased that was off of the kit, so not my kit lens, was the 50 millimeter the reason why that I got is actually I went to Best Buy where I got my kit and asked and what do you be the most versatile lens that I would get that would help me get into photography and he suggested the 50 millimeter and I'm really glad he did. Um, it's done me so well. Again, I use it mainly for my portraits. I like how the images come out. They're very crisp. It's very helpful because a lot of prime lenses, the aperture, you can get much lower, which is perfect for low lighting settings. For example, I was shooting a wedding and I had both my lenses, my 24 to 70 and my 50 millimeter prime lens, again, zoom prime. And I'm still working on my on-camera flash, the speed light on here, and I'm working on it. Again, practice makes perfect. So I was having trouble. We were in a church and the lighting was terrible. It was a cloudy, rainy day. And I, was, I had my 24 to 70 on there just because it's easier to zoom in and out, especially in a church wedding. I don't know what's happening. I need to get every moment that I possibly could. So for me, I did not put my prime lens on that situation. I had my zoom lens, but I was having a lot of trouble because the lighting was so dark and it was such a gloomy day and the flash was making everything very orange and I didn't like what I was seeing on the back of my camera. So I actually took that off and put my prime lens on because I can get it down to 1.8. My zoom lens only lets me get down to 2.8. That little bit of a difference makes a huge difference in low lighting settings. I was so happy that I put my prime lens on. It saved me at that church wedding because I was able to get those pictures in a very low lighting setting. So as a new photographer, I obviously can't spend thousands and thousands of dollars, which you obviously could do very, very easily in the photography world because you start to buy one thing and you want to buy everything. I know it's an addiction. I had that and I thankfully I had another photographer tell me, you know what, you have your 50 millimeter prime, which was the first thing on my first lens. He's like, just use that. You don't need any other equipment. And I'm totally glad he told me that because I probably would have bought all of this unnecessary stuff and then probably be sitting in the closet. So I'm glad I listened to him and I stuck with my 50 millimeter lens. Again, that was my first one. So again, I did upgrade to the 2470 and I'll tell you why in just a minute. So the 50 millimeter prime, 
I use almost for all my portraits. I will sometimes pull out the zoom and I always bring it with me. So I always have my bag and I always have both my 50 millimeter and my 2470. No matter where I go, I always like to have both just in case. God forbid one thing happened to one of the lenses, at least I have a backup lens. And I always bring a spare camera as well, which is very important because you never know something could malfunction. It's always good to have a backup. So that is also very important. So the reason why I did upgrade to the 24 to 70 is I wanted to start doing event photography. So I know this video is more on what I use for portraits. So the reason why I did get this was more for events, weddings, engagements, um, parties. I've done multiple showers. I use this lens for because I don't have the luxury of a model during a portrait session where I can move myself. Those type of situations, you, you're on the fly. Like you need to capture that image right away. And I don't have time to run back and forth and get those type of the, the, the images that I'm looking for, whether I want more foreground or I want the background to be blurry. So honestly, this is what I mainly got the zoom lens for was for event photography. Portraits, I'm gonna say it again, 50 millimeter prime, 1.8. This, this is the one, this is the one I use almost all the time. Benefits of a prime, as you can tell, prime lens is much shorter than the zoom lens. I'm sure that's not for all cases, and there's a specific reason why I chose the 2470, which I'll probably do in another video of why I chose this over another zoom lens. But the weight difference is a big is a big thing. I'm tiny, I'm 5'1", I don't wanna be having to carry this all the time. So for a portrait session where I can put my camera down, I don't need to have it on me all the time, this is great. It's lightweight, it's compact, it's much shorter. I don't have to worry about it hitting anything. Another thing that's great with prime lenses, a lot of times the aperture settings can go a lot lower than a zoom lens. And that makes a very big difference, like I said before, in a low lighting setting. So if you want to do portraits in somewhere where it's a little bit darker, but you like that mood, but you still need to bring in some light, the lower you make that aperture, the brighter your image gets. So that's very important if that's something you're looking to do. And if you don't have a flash and, you, and you're gonna have to just rely on your camera and you're not sure if there's gonna be light, a street light, whatever source of light, if you don't have that, it's good to have an option where your lens does go really low so you can still bring up the light and have all your pictures not be muddy and really, really dark. Another great thing with a prime lens is they're usually, again, keyword usual, usually a little bit cheaper than a zoom lens. I'll put the prices of both of these. I got this one off Facebook Marketplace. I still paid $800. That was a steal. I will put the actual price that you can get this on Amazon on the description below. Or I'll add, actually, I'll add a picture. The prime lens, again, I can't remember. I bought it so long ago, a couple years ago at Best Buy. Um, I want to say it was like $300, but again, I'm going to add it to the end so you can see the price differences. They do make a prime lens, so this is a 1.8, they do make a prime lens that is 1.4, which is very much more expensive, which I would love to have one day, but for now the 1.8 has been able to do everything that I've wanted, so there's no need to. Maybe down the line where I want to invest a little bit more in different things, I could definitely do that. But for now, for a starter prime lens, the 50mm 1.8 for portrait photography has been amazing. I also will say, again, I'm not 100% positive because I've read things everywhere that they say prime lenses make the images a little bit sharper and that zoom lenses aren't as sharp just because of the different distortion that you can get with a, with a zoom lens. I tend to like the images better from a prime lens. Again, so I don't actually know if that's an actual statistic. Again, newbie photographer here. I'm just kind of giving you the background of what I've seen so far. And I found the 50 millimeter lens has given me a sharper image. I've played with both, but I always seem to lean back towards the 50 millimeter. It could be that I'm very familiar with it, but I find that all my images come out amazing. So I definitely recommend a prime lens if this is going to be like your first lens or you're looking to upgrade to something different, a prime lens for portrait photography is a great option. They have different types. They have a 35 mil, a 50 mil, an 85. I found that the 50, that it's done me so well and I absolutely love it. I hope this helps you decide on what type of lens that you would like to capture portraits for your images. 
Again, this is my preference. Of course, you can do whatever you please. I just hope these videos help you out with some of your decisions. And like always, please give this video a thumbs up, write me some comments, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, everyone.